Drop the gun. We received a 911 call from a female saying that someone in the home had a gun. That call disconnected and in another call, Flagler County deputies say they could hear a person in the background saying someone has a gun. Weapon, weapon shown. When deputies arrived at the home, they were confronted with someone who they thought had a gun. Deputies surrounded the home with guns drawn. The video you see is captured on body camera video and is worn by the deputy with his taser drawn. Please put the gun down. After several minutes, the woman walks out and does this. Please. After tasing the woman, deputies discovered that it was not a real gun. Instead, it was an airsoft gun, a non-lethal air-powered gun. I was in the store just the other day and I was looking at some of these guns and they look realistic. They truly do. James Triano says these toy guns are becoming an issue for law enforcement officers. It acts like a gun. It looks like a gun. And to a law enforcement officer, if then pointed at you, what are you supposed to do? Troiano says the orange tip on the gun, which is meant to indicate that it's not real, was painted black. He says this was a case of so-called attempted suicide by cop. The woman faces several charges and has since been Baker acted. She was warned how many times? Drop the gun! Probably over 20. Please drop the weapon. Please put the gun down. You saw how calm he was. He did a great job. Had he not acted Please. the way he did, there's a great potential that she'd be dead today.